the Inflation Reduction Act is almost at the White House door. August recess began with a celebration for Maryland's U.S. Senators. Democrats Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin fired up as they touted the Inflation Reduction Act Thursday. It's making progress on the Hill and it's poised to hit the president's desk soon. The measure empowers Medicare to negotiate drug prices and caps out-of-pocket costs for Medicare patients. It also includes major action on climate change. This is huge. To be able to reduce our carbon emissions by, uh, by 40 percent by the end of this decade. These incentives will also make energy more affordable for families across our nation, which means less of that monthly budget going to utility costs. The main message from this group, this bill is a game changer. It'll reduce the cost of living and improve the lives of millions of Marylanders. Where we know that pollution has drastically and disproportionately impacted low income communities of color, when we talk about asthma rates, when we talk about flooding that we've experienced right here in Baltimore City, this will work to make sure that we are impacting those communities positively uh, and the economic impact is tremendous. This event attended by a host of state and local Democratic lawmakers and many of them are on the ballot in November. Time at the mic today, a chance to highlight Democratic legislative victories and promises kept. Though some cautioned, much work lies ahead. Half of this bill are competitive grants, right? Making, setting up a process so that Maryland and states like us are positioned to make sure that we can apply for and win those grants. In an email, Maryland's lone Republican member of the congressional delegation, 1st District Rep Andy Harris, says he's a solid no tomorrow when the bill comes up for a vote in the House because, he told us in an email, it, quote, provides $80 billion in funding for 87,000 additional IRS agents while providing zero border security funding for zero additional border security agents. This bill, he says, also raises taxes on millions of Americans and, as many studies have shown, actually adds to inflation. I will vote no on this bill, end quote. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.